That's the only thing you know. Judy, why are you so troublesome? Why? Hmm? Hmm? Me? Troublesome? No, Nandi, really. I am troublesome. A stupid steward girl tried to poison me with garlic and I reacted. All of a sudden, I am troublesome. But she wasn't the one who cooked the food. She cooked all she served. What difference? And you? Instead of you to stand up for my defense, what did you do? You supported her instead and made me look stupid before your parents and that dirty swine. See, Judy, I just finished eating hmm? and I enjoyed that delicious meal so much. Right now, I'm full. Hmm? So I need to go in there, restroom, and spend a long time. Okay? I'm not even spending a short time. <laughs> you have to allow me to go in there and do what I have to do right now. Do you get me? Excuse me. Let me get your hands off me. Judy, you won't like what will happen here right now. Like I don't I like it. Like I care. Oh go on. My God, you don't, you don't really understand. Judy, I'm full. I have to use the restroom right now. Excuse me. Nandi. Judy, it's actually coming out. You might not survive it, Judy. I am telling you the truth. Excuse me, please. Nandi. Oh. oh. I, I told you. You're so disgusting. What, what I said it before now. Hmm. I told you. Judy, come on. Oh! Foodie! That is what you are! Yeah, I told you! So enjoy it! Mm. Hey, you slut. Why are you calling my man? Are you not tired of selling yourself so cheaply to a man who will never be interested in you? Why did you lie to me this morning? Lie to you? Yes. Uh, no, they let go of me. You're hurting me. Hurting you? You've not seen anything yet. No, no, let go of her. What has come over you? Um, do you know what she did? I don't care whatever she must have done to you. You don't just grab a woman like that, especially when she's a princess. Mom, she picked my call. And? And embarrassed my caller. When I asked her, she said, I did not take your call. Is that what happened, Judy? No, Mom. The person kept calling, so I had to pick the call. I asked her to call back, but she kept pestering the fool. I was upset. All I did was told her to get a life. Just that. Really? Liar. 
You're such a big liar. Mama, you're calling me a liar. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey. That your crocodile tears will not work here. Do you hear me? Stop it. Stop it. Please. I will just love the hell out of you now. Silly. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Good evening, my love. How are you? Your Highness, please. You can't address me like that. It's not proper. But you know that I have always loved you. From your teenage years. Hmm? With all due respect, I cannot marry you. Why? Because you're like a father to me. And the princess has been my childhood friend. But princess will not have a problem with this. Except that you promised her that you will never marry another wife so that you can keep the memory of her mother aglow. What do you intend to do about that? <laughs> Adora, I am the king. I can do and undo. I can say and unsay. Yes, you can. But you don't have to spoil everything you worked for just because you have the power to do so. So please, your highness, please, I cannot marry you. Adora, you are refusing the king that has done everything to make you happy. <sighs> your highness, thank you so much for everything you have ever done for me. Thank you, I really appreciate them. But I cannot marry you. Sorry. Mm. Adora. Adora, why are you doing this? God. Your Excellency. Okay. So we are meeting tomorrow. I'll be there. Good day, Your Majesty. Good day, Okano. Sit down. Thank you. Uh, How did it go? Your Majesty. I thought I could use my influence as her uncle to make her serious. All my effort to support it. Why would any young woman in her right senses refuse a king's juicy offer? It baffles me. She couldn't even give it a second thought. No one refuses a king's offer. What the king wants, he gets. Your Majesty, I think she needs time. She's a woman. She's only trying to be the woman that she is. What is it? 
say what is it? My king, I noticed that you have been unhappy. I, I, I just came to keep you warm and to make you happy as well, my king. Have you taken any of the wine in the wine's bar? No, 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 my king, not at all. I'm hundred percent fine. My king, I love you. I just want to be with you. I just want you to. Shut up! What I want you to do now is to get hold of yourself. Then you go to the kitchen and do the cooking that you have been employed for. And if you are tired of the job, you let me know so that I can replace you. Obiageli, are you tired? No. No, 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 my kid. I'm, I'm not tired. I'm, I still want to work with you, my kid. Let me pretend that this never happened. As long as you are not going to repeat it. Do I make myself clear? No, out! I said get out! You have to listen to me, Adora. Uncle, I've been listening to you. But it doesn't seem you've been listening to me. It seems you've been paying a deaf ear. Um, uh, Uncle, please. Let us not flog a dead horse here. What are you even talking about? So, you want me to marry someone that old? How? My dear, your reason is childish. Now, let me tell you. A man is as old as he thinks. Not as old as he looks. And besides, our king is still very strong. My dear, this is an opportunity for you to better your life and that of your brother. Eh? Stop looking at the king's age. Age is just but a number. Fine. It's okay, Uncle. I, I, I've heard. I'll think about it. <laughs> you think about it? Mm. Am I you are talking, my dear? But if you want to think, Think very, very fast. Ne, Ogadru Zukwa. Ogadru. I've heard you. Thank you, my dear. You've done well. I think I can go now. Won't you eat? No, next time I will eat. Yes. Okay, my dear. Take care of yourself. Adada. Adada. Thank you very much. Adora this, Adora that, Adora that. Who do you think you are? What is the problem now? Oh, you want to know what the problem is? I don't like you. Eh. <laughs> it's no secret. I noticed from the very first day. <laughs> and it is not my fault that you hate me for no reason. Uh -huh. There's a reason, no? A very simple reason. And I want you to put it in your head. Stay away from my business. And I know you know who my business is in this Please, kingdom. Just save your breath. Hmm? I don't have any business with your business. <laughs> I get a weep. Hey, hey. Look, no. You're speaking grammar for me. Mwah. You think you can intimidate me with English? Ooh. I say, I am educated. I went to school. How about this uniform? 
I am very, very well learned. So, I'm talking, and I have not finished saying what I want to say. You will wait for me to finish before you move. Stay away from my business. I will not say it again. I will not say it again. Stay away from my business. Last warning. Mele. I don't get feeling funny. If you go around and mind your business, let me mind my business. So if, I, if, I, if I will break your leg, everything I worked so hard, worked so hard, I built with my power. Everything you want to come and take. Leokuya. Nonsense, nonsense and ingredients without condiments. Very useless girl. Eh? Open again. What are these for? The king asked me to get this item for you. Please, without sounding disrespectful, you have to take them back to the king. But why? We don't need them. We're fine. I beg your pardon? Are you sure about this? Yes. We're fine. We don't need them. Please, just take them back. Please, take them back. I beg you, take them back. Oh, it's okay. I still did King. No, Allah. What do you do? You mean I should tell the King? I should. Okay. else do I tell the king that I will not marry him? I will not marry him. Ha! Oh. Long live the king. How did it go? She rejected the offer, my king. What? Yes, my king.
I missed you more, my princess. You are welcome. Thank you, Dad. Thank you. My son, yeah, how are you? I'm fine, Your Majesty. Good. And you, sir, how is that? I thank God. Both of you are welcome to your father's land. Daddy, I must say you haven't changed a bit since the last time you were in UK. How can I change? When you taught me how to eat right, and I've been applying it. Uh, Your Majesty, so she has finally succeeded in turning you into a vegetarian. Yes, she did. And I'm, I feel healthy. Very, very healthy. Yes. Um, how is your father? Oh, Your Majesty, he's fine. And your mother? She's also doing well, Your Majesty. Good. And how is the kingdom? Oh, everything is under control. Yes. I trust your kingship. <laughs> <laughs> your Highness. My princess, sir, banquet is served. Just at the right time. Please, let's go over to the dining room. <laughs> ah. mm. You're welcome, my princess. Thank you. You're not ready yet. Ready for what? You've got to be kidding me. I called and told you that you'll be going to Mnanko to inspect the project at site. Oh, that. Oh, that. As in, it's not important or what? Namdi, why do you like making trouble? Why? Oh, I'm not the one making trouble. Why I called you two hours ago to tell you this? Just for me to come back and still see you in your nightgown. What is wrong with you? Can we please leave this for another day? I am tired. Besides, I need to change my hair. You need to change your hair? Hair that you changed three days ago. You still want to change your hair? And who says I can have a change of hair every day? You, 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 you're just, you, oh God, you, ah. Yeah, what's up? Okay, I'll be there in uh, 15 minutes. It's okay. I'm not done with you yet. Good morning. Good greetings, sir. How are you? Fine, sir. Greetings, my princess. Greetings to you, oh, Obiagili. Yes, Obiagili. <laughs> How are you, my princess? I'm very well, thank you. Um, I hope you enjoyed the meal yesterday. Yes, I did. You made that? Yes, I did, my princess. My culinary skills are intercontinental. Oh, that's impressive. Thank you, my princess. Um, I, I came to tell you that if you need anything, just anything, I'm here to serve you. Just call on me, I'll be here. <laughs> That's a thoughtful of you. Thank you, my princess. Thank you. <laughs> uh, speaking about that, um, I would love to change my hair. Can you take me to somewhere nice? Oh, I have a very good salon I'll take you to. You would love it, ma'am. You would love it. I'll let you know when I'm ready. Okay, my princess. Um, breakfast will be served in 10 minutes. All right. Are you all right? Yes. Welcome. Thank you. I mean, good morning. Chimo, 
the cloud has turned dark again. Chimo ino zikone mem obi ama wamo obi eti wamo. Chimo ino zikone me obi ama wamo obi eti wamo. We can even complete the farmer's own that same tomorrow. That is more money for us uh, now. Sister, is that not too much? Uh, as long as we make money, we need the money. Hmm? Hi. So, we will try. If it works, fine. If it doesn't work. Uncle? Don't talk to me. Get back to yourself. Okay. I think it is not eating thing that's making it to this game. Adora, stop eating it. Stop eating me not. Let me ask you, what is your problem? What have I done? What have you not done? What have you not done, Adora? You were given an opportunity to eat and dine on the king's table. What did you do? You prefer to eat on a bare floor. As if that is not enough, you have decided to drag the entire family along with you. Adora, have you no shame? An opportunity every right-thinking woman will jump and grab without thinking twice. Rather, you prefer to walk the entire village Working in people's farms. Adora, what a shame. Uh, uh, uncle, but it's not for long now. Eh? We just want to make enough money and start another business. You, you just look at yourself. The king would have given you more than enough money to start up something good. I mean, a better business. And you might even rule with him as a queen of this great kingdom. How dare you prefer Peter Liv, Onubo, to honey? I mean, to sweet honey. Adora, Adora I don't know if you... Uh, uncle? There's dignity in labor. Leave it like that for me. In fact, uncle, I am not marrying the king. Period. Dignity in labor, you said. Adora. No. Your poor parents will be so ashamed of you, whatever they are. Adora, let me ask you a question. Even if you don't know what is happening to you, why not ask the cause to reveal them to you? So at least you at least, Adora, you can live a good life. You can better life of this family.
Dora. Ah. It's Judy, no, you're no, 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 Judy! How is the family, oh, my dear? Oh, the family is fine. Can sit down, can sit down. Take a seat. Sit down. And you're welcome. You're looking fine. Wow. You're welcome once again, Thank my queen. Princess, how are you doing? I'm fine. Uh, the princess insisted on visiting her friend. That is why we're here. That's good. That's good. Thank you. Princess, where is the superman you promised me? Oh, I forgot. I promise I will bring it next visit. Uh, that reminds me, where is your husband? My husband traveled to Lagos yesterday. Who police war? Everything is fine. And how is the king? The king is doing great. He actually sent his greetings. Ah, thank you. Mom, I want to take Princess to my room. Ha! Ah, that's adorable, my daughter. You can show her your mom. My queen. I was preparing something in the kitchen before you came. Let me go and check it so that we'll eat together. I'm so bad. Just wait, I'm coming. Also. Mm. Yeah, it's me. Also? Yeah. How are you? Happy Judy. Good day. Good day to you too. Why are you both dressed like this? And why is Nosu with a stick? Is he blind? Oh. It's a long story. Look, I have all the time, okay? Come in, let's go to the house. Eh? Yes, let's go. No young woman in her prime ought to experience what you just told me. I am sorry I was not here for you. It's okay. <laughs> there is nothing you would have done. You wouldn't have turned back the hands of time. And you wouldn't have brought my parents back. So, it's fine. It's fine. I know. But I would have done something to stop the suffering that comes with losing both parents. I'm sorry. Enough of me. What about you? What has been happening with you? And how is Yuki? I am fine as you can see. And Yuki was fine when I left. <laughs> <laughs> so, are you going back soon? Not permanently. Oh. After my wedding, I intend to stay back and establish my business. <laughs> Did you just say wedding? Mm -hmm. So there's a wedding to plan? Yes. <laughs> I am so happy for you. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, this is good. <laughs> I hope I'm going to see him very soon. <laughs> no, so. Auntie Judy. How are you? Uh, Auntie Judy, I'm fine. 
how are you doing as well? I'm doing great. And uh, you both cannot go back to the street and continue all jobs. It is risky. Whatever the challenge is, I am sure it can be sorted out. Okay? Don't worry. All will be well now. I'm even tired of that girl, Hey, God. Let me see what I don't understand. And what are you two yellow monkeys talking about? I don't understand, Abedele. Are we accountable to you in this palace? Oh, must we take permission for you before saying a word? Again, what? Mbwabune, Idebo, Idebo, Unukakawa. Always putting your neck. Well, I know what has been going on in this palace. I know you two have been gossiping me in this palace, tarnishing my image, and telling whoever cares to listen that the king embarrassed me. But you see that mouth you've been using to peddle fake news about me? God will punish it. Stop there, Begeli. Huh? Who do you think you are in this palace? In case you've forgotten, let me remind you. You are a maiden like us. Yes, so. And don't begin to see yourself like the madam here mm. because you're not. And you will never be. Ah, shut up! Repetition machine. She talk, you answer. Anyway, I don't have your time because you two are jobless. Mm. Unknown palace mates. Mm. Just, 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 just look at her. Just imagine. Hey! Okay. Just. Wah, every day. I mean, I'm tired of this girl. I'm tired of her, please. Ah. Dad, I didn't believe that things could get so bad for Chief Cosmos' children to the point that they had to resort to working for people in their farms. What? Why would she do a thing like that when I have told her to meet me for whatever she needs? Huh? You did? Yes, my dear, I did. Huh? Why would she choose to go and work for other people in the farm? Huh? Why? Dad, may I ask for a favor? Go ahead, my dear. I want you also to come stay with us for a while so our doctor can look into his case. Sure. Sure. I don't have a problem with that. Let him come. Thank you, Dad. Thank you so much. I'm going to miss you. I know. And I will miss you too. Don't worry, I will always be coming to see you. Okay? Come on, you too. Not like Nusu is traveling out. He's going to the palace. And the palace is an hour drive from here. You don't have to blame me. I'm not used to letting him out of my sight, you know. I understand. But you know he is safe with me, right? Of course I know. That is why I'm even allowing him go with you in the first place. So relax, you'll be fine. Okay. I'll be coming every time. Okay. In fact, sometimes I'll even come two times in a day. You will not miss me, you mm -hmm. see. Make sure you eat. Yeah. Okay. Take it. What is it for? You can use it to start a business of your choice. Just use it for anything. Oh. This is too much. You mommy. 
<laughs> this can't even get me done oh, here. Yeah. Please just manage it. Hey, it's nothing. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Sister, thank you very much. God bless you, Auntie Judy. God bless you too. Let's go. Can we go now? Thank you. Come and see you. I will not even allow you miss me. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. It's Auntie Judy you're going with, so you'll be fine. No eh? Oh, wow. Thank you. Just go. Uh, give me the stick. Give okay. me the stick. Okay, raise your leg. Raise your leg. Don't worry. Just raise your leg. Okay. <sighs> okay. Hi, Judy. God bless you. My God, okay. you will prosper beyond your imagination. Amen. God bless you. Oh. Yes, Please take care of yourself. I will. I will. Changes in this palace. How do you mean? Have you not heard? The king is planning a secret wedding. Don't say that. Hmm. Have I said anything before that doesn't turn out to be true? Have I? So who is the lucky one? Hmm. I don't know yet. But I think she's from this kingdom. I can't wait. The palace is long overdue for a queen. And I pray she treats us right, you know. And I hope so. Can we go? I really hope so. So after my stern warning to that stupid girl, she still went ahead to accept the king to the point that they are planning a secret wedding. Never. Over my dead body will Adora get married to the king. Never. I can't wait to go back to my hotel room. I've been so stressed for the past three days now. I wonder why you insist we stay in that hotel for three days when there are more than capable hands to handle that project. If I tell you the amount of fraud I uncovered in just three days, you tell me to take over the company myself. You mean the engineer have been siphoning money? Yes. That was why my father asked me to come down to see things myself. So what are you going to do now? <sighs> hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Is that not Adora? Adora in the city? No, no. Wait, 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 wait. wait, wait, wait. Ada? Adora? Ada, please. Please wait. I can explain to you. Don't come close to me. Ada, please wait. Don't do it! Ada, let me explain. Don't even think of it! Ada, don't do this now. Please listen to me, Ada. Ada? Ada? Adora? 
Ada, please. Please listen to me, Ada. Ada! We are looking for one young lady. She's not that tall, just average in height, and not uh, too fair, just chocolate. She's dark, I think. No, that is not dark now, that is chocolate. Okay. Huh? Her name is Adora. Adora, Adora. Uh, no, I don't think I've seen that face before, and that name doesn't sound familiar. But I've seen her around this place before. I'm sorry, this is a village and people can come in at any time, you know. Sorry, you maybe you can check the next street. You know, there is a road behind this thing. So if you check, you will see what I'm talking about. All right, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, have a nice day. Thank you. Hey, I cannot believe this. Look at you. Looking so healthy. Ha! Have you been eating? <laughs> no, don't worry. Just tell me. What have you been eating? Hey? Um, sister, Auntie Judy has been feeding me very well. Hi. Judy. Judy. Yes. I hope you're not planning to block his head with plenty food. <laughs> no, no. No, I just want him to be healthy. Hey, you have done so well. Honestly, just look at it. Less than one week, and he has changed so much. Hey, God will bless you. Oh, thank you. God will bless you for me. Oh, come on. What are friends for? Mm. As if you don't know that it's not all friends that can do this. You know now. Mm. Eh? Thank you. You're thank you. <laughs> yes, I missed you. In fact, every second. But it's fine. My princess, the doctor is here. That's fine. Um, it's time for the doctor to see him. Hey. Yeah. Ah, come. Okay. Come and lead him. It's fine. I'll wait for you here. Eh? I'm sorry. Right. Um, hold on. Auntie Judy. Yes. Thank you for all you've done for us. You're welcome. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. I'll be back. 
Thank you. Good afternoon, my king. Good afternoon, my queen. Yes, I am right. I thought you would have forgotten this by now. When a man is after the heart of a good woman, he will not stop singing because she says no to him. I, I believe one day you will say yes to me. You yes. sound so confident, my king, even at your age. That is why I am the king. That is why I am the commander in chief. And that is why I am the ruler of this kingdom. Yes. <laughs> My queen. <laughs> Sorry, sit down, sit down, my queen. Sit down. <sighs> my queen, my queen. <laughs> know how to thank you. I don't know how to thank you at all. Just look at the way you took care of my brother. Eh? I can barely recognize him. <laughs> Child, thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, how to bless you. But it's okay. You've thanked me like a million times now. It's fine. <laughs> Just get used to it because I'll keep thanking and thanking you. You're uh -uh. welcome. <laughs> this is your own. The palace belongs to you as much as it is mine. So you're welcome anytime, any day. Sister. Mm -hmm. I, I am going to miss you. And I'll be coming to visit you from time to time. Hmm. Okay? I'll okay. miss you. The princess will be Hey, take care of yourself. Oh, I'll okay. drop out. Okay. Sister. Oh. Why? Oh, stop, 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 hmm. stop. It's fine. I'll always be here. Okay? okay. You guys want me to be jealous now. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. You're welcome. Thank you so much. See you soon. Okay. Is she gone? Yes.
Baby, what's up? Are you okay? You've been moody. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm good. No, you're not. You've been moody since you came back from the sites. Are you still upset I didn't go with you? Come on, babe. I was not feeling fine. Besides, we just came into town after a teacher's journey from Lagos. I needed to relax and get me back into fitness. Hmm? Hello, what's up? Oh, really? Okay, I'm coming. I will run into you right now. Okay. Um, babe, I have to go now. We just got here. Yeah, I got an urgent call, so I have to go and I'll see you later, okay? Okay? What? Namdi! I'll see you. Did, did you just walk out on me? I know my dad. He can never condescend that law. My princess, it's not about your dad condescending law. It's about what she said. Imagine people hearing about this. This girl has beaten more than she can chew. <coughs> My princess, you have to do something about it or you don't have to take it lightly. She dare not. If she decides to continue with such nonsense, then I will deal with her in my own way. <laughs> 